morning, fans. Privateer FX coming at you with the New York Open here. After a uh, pretty interesting European session, we had Powell out and he was relatively hawkish. We had oil prices coming lower, uh, so dollar cat zipped higher. Broke out nicely through 18, traded all the way up to 82. Uh, we're trading near the highs now. The high's been 84. Um, looks okay still. Looks like we're going to uh, test this 131 and a quarter level, so we're kind of expecting another green day tomorrow, and we're we're on the core long train for dollar cad. Kind of dovetails with our uh, mood in oil. Kind of feel like Trump's going to fuck this up somehow, or I don't know what he's going to do, but I think the market's going to get caught long oil here, and uh, just kind of kind of feels that way. But of course, got got to throw that bias alert out there. Everyone knows. Everyone who watches Privateer FX knows I have a penchant for um, shorting fossil fuels. So uh, bias alert. Careful. You don't want to bring emotion into trading, and when you do bring it in, um, you got to keep it light. Best trades are the balanced trades. Anyway, uh, looking forward versus looking backward. Cad yen uh, has come off, obviously, with dollar cad higher, but dollar yen has not gone higher on the Powell news, so cad yen looks pretty weak. Uh, again, sell rally mode on cad yen, buy dollar mode on dollar cad. As far as uh, the big majors, Euro did clip through 98. It's been down to 70. Uh, Dollar Swiss has not followed. Euro Swiss got plundered. Euro Swiss is down, down at 08 now. So Dollar Swiss has not made a new high. Kind of got to wonder if this is running out of gas, this Dollar Swiss here. Um, I'm not suggesting a fade quite yet, but put the fade hat on. I'm going to see what Euro Dollar can do, because Euro Dollar can just continue to go a lot lower. There's really nothing holding it up. The boys from ING uh, were saying they think ECB is not going to raise to the end of 2019. They're flapping away on uh, CNBC this morning. So this is going to be on people's frontal lobe. Don't really see any reason why Euro is going to get bought, or who would want to buy Euro here. Um, so... I'm not recommending that. Euro yen caught us a little bit by surprise. We saw some selling at the open. I didn't really expect it to go all the way down here. I only bring it up because this is a very important moment uh, in Euro yen. 129, the figure, which is the year's low. We're still 35 points away. Um, we expect to bounce first time, especially after all these red days here. Um, but keep an eye on 129, the figure. There's going to be interest buying and or stop loss selling through it. Um, so market, keep an eye on it. Equities, marginally lower. Very quiet equities. Low's been 59.75. We're trading up at uh, 64 now. So I guess we've made a marginal new low today. But uh, no trade in equities. We're, we're a seller on the reach. So, uh, you know, near 2,700 up to sort of 2,740 even, that 1% area there, we are sellers. Otherwise, we leave it alone. Going to be a quiet afternoon. We have no U.S. data, and everyone's just waiting for uh, Humpty Dumpty Trumpty to, um, to make his amazing, super strong really, really powerful statement at uh, 2 p.m. Eastern Time, 8 p.m. Central European Time. Looking way, way ahead, we've got uh, some budget, federal budget balance and percentage of GDP out in Oz tonight. Uh, that's If you've got an Aussie position, you do have to watch that. We at Privateer don't have an Aussie position, so we're going to go to bed instead of watching that. Anyway, just keeping you updated. 
Um, no US data. We wait for the stock market to open for clues and we are uh, buyers of dollar CAD, sellers of CAD yen the rest of the way. Core short CAD yen, core long dollar CAD. Good luck out there, people. Talk to you tomorrow at the European Open. Bye.